Taking group photos can sometimes be rather difficult because not everyone is smiling at the same time. As you can see in these photos here, not everyone's looking at the camera or has their eyes open or has a perfect smile in any of the four pictures. Fortunately, we can use Windows Light Photo Gallery's Fuse tool to fuse these photos together. First we'll want to find the photos we plan on fusing together and then select them. In order to select multiple photos, I'll first want to click on one photo. Then I can hold down the control key, which is in the bottom left hand corner of my keyboard, and it says CTRL. I can hold down the control key, and then I can click anywhere on the second photo, anywhere on the third photo, and anywhere on the fourth photo. Now I'm ready to fuse these photos together. In order to do so, I'll want to click on the Create tab, which is towards the top of my screen in the top left hand corner. I'll click once on the Create tab, and then I can click on the tool that says Photo Fuse. I need to give the computer a moment to read the photos and then align the photos for the photo fuse. Now that the four photos have been fused together, I'll want to choose the best version of each person so that I can create a perfect photo. You'll see here that the computer has prompted me with a couple different versions of the second person. The first photo looks really great, not so great in the second, nor the third. The fourth photo looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to choose the first photo here. So I'll simply click on it and the photo is going to be chosen. But you notice that the third person in this photo still isn't smiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here. It looks like a plus sign. I'm going to hold down the left click and I'm going to go down and over so that I've selected this portion of the photo. When I let go, the computer is going to prompt me with a couple different versions. In the first photo, she's not looking at the camera, nor the second, nor the third. But she has a perfect smile in the fourth photo. So I'll simply click on it and the computer is going to replace the photo with that portion of the photo. Now I can simply click on the word save and then I can change the file name as well. I'm going to rename this file so that it's group photo perfect and then I'm going to click on save. Now if I'd like to edit this photo further I can do so or I can simply click on the words close file in order to automatically save those changes.